All right, here we go. We've got in this box Fomenkov. I've been waiting a long time to get more Fomenkov, and every Fomenkov I've ever unboxed has been excellent. So let's just see how we're doing with these Fomenkov. I believe we've got one more made. Um, I was going to have uh, one Fomenkov available at the festival. It didn't get finished in time. As delays are a fairly common thing, especially amongst the really renowned makers. But all of these have been claimed. But we're going to film the unboxing anyways. I see a generous amount. Dude, thank you. Fomenkov sent me, he straight up sent me some titanium. Thank you, dude. That is, oh, that is baller. Yes. Okay, I'm going to, I have some titanium. I make harps as well in my spare time. I have some titanium to play around with. That is so cool of a move, dude. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to send him a, a message after this. That is, oh, that makes my day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got, I got titanium to play around with. Nice. Now, what we're going to start off with here is here we have a G2. Oh, that is such a cool move, dude. Oh, uh, makes, that makes my day. It's been a very long week working heating and air. I do heating and air work as well. But nice looking case. I believe I got beach on all these. It's a nice light wood tension fit. I've wore my cases at uh, the Winfield Blue Gas Festival the whole time. Didn't, didn't ever fall out. This would be a G2. He always does the most stunning work. Look at that. Look at the level of detail. And you can't use power tools um, on uh, on titanium, he says. This is all done by hand. Forged, we see it's, uh, I can't even think today, a Munop style, style frame. But his take on a Munarp is if like an alien seen a Munarp and designed it. They're always so cool. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that's unique. That is, that has a draw start to it. Unique. I've never seen a foaming call with a draw start. I'll ask the guy who claimed it if he wants me to leave it in or take it out, but I would prefer to leave it just how the maker did it. Very vibrant colors. <laughs> And just like that, the draw start went away. As I played the reed, the reed was curled upward slightly at the end. This draw start started to go away. Yep. Wow. I had been told before by a engineer that uh, steel, well, this is titanium, uh, likes to straighten when it's vibrated, and that was just a perfect example of that. We've seen a reed that was curved slightly forward. As I played it, it straightened itself out. Very cool. I do like the case, very, very well-made case. Tension fit, and we have an elastic style of cordage. This next one was the one I had made for sale at the festival, but the festival is over. I went ahead and had him put some artwork in the jumper, which I'd never had done before, but I wanted it to be special for the festival. A large D2. We see there's mushrooms on the jumper. 
good ode to the fungus. Very, very tight fitting case. Big, beefier than mine. These are hand forged, so they're all going to be different. Here we see mine is more thin. This is a much more beefier of an instrument. Oh, it is. That is pretty. The Monarp style frame. Ooh, oh, that's nice. It's so haunting. Now, I'm not going to play that any more than that. That's going, that's going to make somebody very, very happy. Very flexible feeling read. Beautiful, beautiful work by Fomenkov. I like the artwork he did. I didn't provide him with a drawing. I just said put some put some mushrooms on the on the jumper, and he did. Oh, it is that is just so pretty. So much sustain the way he does these. It's like a perfect bell ring that just keeps going and going and going. Oh, a a plus to you. Mr. Fomenkov, real nice looking case. Fits very well. This is the anti Vargan, the two reeded design. I ended up selling one to a friend. And he's got these weights here, and you take the weights off. And then, oh, yes, he includes a little washer on here for removing the weights, because you can have both weights on, you can take a weight off, you can add a weight. There's a whole bunch of different combinations. <laughs> Playing this one, it's low, low. I'm gonna bring the microphone up here. These are less musical and more weird out there meditation. <laughs> And as you take, let's just come down here, let's take a look at the mess I've got going on here. As you take these weights off, and one of these is going in my collection, the other is going to a happy home. Let's see if I can get them off. You tighten them on that very, very well. I might need to go get a little wrench. I can. See if I can get it off now. See how just that affects our sound. Let's see where we're at with our sound now. They're so weird. Now it's playing like a mid-rangey thing. Now let's see where we go removing one more. Let's see if I can do this. This will be the unboxing, you just watching me take screws off and nuts. Anti-Vargan are such a weird, weird concept. And I believe the concept was originally contrived, if I can use the word contrived in a sentence, by Salaji, his, um, is it the daisy cutter? Oh, 
Oh, you are so weird. I'm going to put, I'm going to try this third combination. I'm going to put this screw and the second one. Oh, that's making my ears ring. That is a weird. I think it just confused my brain, me playing that. I'll put the one of the weights in here and see how that affects it. That is a strange, strange combination. Oh, that is weird. That's that one's going in my collection. I had a friend who gave me some computer software and then ended up buying my personal anti vargan I might have called this the anti Maranzano. Um also uh Giuseppe makes an anti Maranzano, which we won't talk about today. Here's the other anti vargan Such a such a strange concept. Anyways, we're at 11 minutes. We'll wrap it up with that strange, strange. <laughs> Look at how much work the case would be to make on one of these. Way out there. A plus to Fomenkov, as always. If you're out there watching Fomenkov, thank you so much for sending me um, this, um, this titanium. As a really, really cool move. I like that. I'm going to end playing this strange thing that confused my brain. Anyways, I love y'all. Keep your harps clean, keep them dry, keep them oiled. If you've got a titanium harp, you ain't got to oil it. It won't rust. I love y'all. Adios. Uh-huh. <laughs>